Hey guys, it's Chef Kate. I'm back here with a couple tips today for cooking at home. And today we're gonna discuss flavor. So I'm gonna show you some options to add a lot of flavor to your food at home. And we're gonna start with my favorite ingredient, butter. So I know many of you love settlers and mashed potatoes. This is the secret. A lot of butter. And I know a lot of people are more health conscious and stuff like that, but even just a little dab will do you. Like that little bit of butter will add some nice velvety, like texture to your food. You're actually at the end of your sauces, it'll be lovely. Um, next we have garlic. So I have two different kinds of garlic here. This one is just your fresh garlic. I've taken it out of the uh, skins for you. And this one, this is called black garlic. I'm just gonna put on a glove real quick. This is from Lato Suit Farm, which is out in Beach Lake. Shout out to John and it's fermented, which sounds like a little questionable, but it is so delicious. And this is what it looks like. We've had black garlic uh, dressings before. Right now on our menu, we have turkey in a black garlic cream sauce, and it's really good, and it's really soft. You can see how quickly it just kind of smushes, and it adds a lot of really strong flavors to your food. You can find this at some grocery stores. Uh, next, we're going to discuss fresh herbs. Today, I just have some rosemary because it's um, an herb everybody knows and loves. Um, a lot of times, you want to add fresh herbs at the end of cooking so you don't lose, one, their color, and you're not going to cook at all their flavor. Now, for long-term cooking, like braises and stuff, you'll still get the flavor, but obviously, you're not really going to be looking for the color. And then over here, we have ginger. So this is fresh ginger. You can buy ground ginger, and this is great for a lot of Asian dishes, of course, but sometimes just adding a little bit of ginger to your baked goods, like especially obviously you want to do dried, really adds like a punch of flavor and it'll kind of enhance your like cinnamons and allspices and stuff like that. I know a lot of people are stress baking right now, so consider adding a little bit of ginger to your next baking project. And then here I have a lot of, a, a lot of, not really a lot, but a few dried herbs and spices. So this is dried thyme, dried tarragon, Vaudevon curry, which is like a curry blend, dried dill, and then these are fennel seeds. What's really great about toasting whole spices is it really enhances their flavor. And I really wish we could smell things on video because I think that would be wonderful if you guys could smell how strong this fennel is gonna get. So once you get them in the pan, you really wanna keep them moving because if you don't, they will burn. And that's terrible because the smell of burnt fennel is really gross. Smell of burnt anything is not exactly ideal. And you wanna keep doing this until the fragrance really becomes very apparent. And you can do this with whole dill seed, you could do this with coriander, you could do this with cumin. And I know you guys can't smell it, but I can, and it's awesome. And you're just gonna, and like you'll notice a slight toasty color coming out of it. And that's another sure sign that it's almost done. And then from here, you're gonna wanna, you can leave them whole, like if you're making sausages at home, like fennel seed's great in sausage, but if you're gonna add it to, like our pork dish on the menu is tarragon, sage, and fennel. And what we do is we, we grind this in like a coffee grinder, and then that's what we rub our pork with. So you should try that. You should call us and order out. Anyway, moving on, we're gonna talk about salt. Many, many, many people are afraid of salt and it's understandable with health, you know, being health conscious and if you have heart problems and everything like that, but salt brings out flavor. Like salt is so important that Roman soldiers were once paid in salt. So consider that next time you're like, I don't wanna salt my potatoes. Yes, you do, you really do. Uh, right here we have our basic kosher salt. This is what we use every day to season your guys' food to make it taste good. It's, it's a kind of a large flake. You can find this at grocery stores and it'll add quite, and it's easy to use and it, it's just wonderful. And then here we have a gray sea salt, much more coarser grain. We would use this to like add onto plates or put onto steaks and stuff like that right before they go out. Um, my, our one staff member, Kyle, likes to eat it. <laughs> and then here we have applewood smoked salt. This stuff is super cool because you can add smokiness to something without actually having to smoke it. So if you wanted to just kind of add a little bit of smokiness to a chicken breast, 
this is like your go-to and it's very fine grain so that way it will dissolve nicely. Another tip is to always use fresh ground black pepper if you can. I know sometimes it's just easier to buy the stuff that comes in the container and you shake it on and away you go. I'm just happy you're using black pepper, but if you can, definitely like fine ground it at home. It'll make a big difference in your food. Some other tips for cooking at home would be when you're going to sear like a piece of fish or a piece of chicken or whatever it is that you're going to sear is get your pan really hot and make sure you have a decent amount of oil in it. I know the splatter is kind of a pain, you gotta clean it up, but you will get a beautiful sear. And then when you flip it over, you're gonna see some stuff at the bottom of the pan. And in, in classic French cooking, it's called a fond, and there's so much flavor in there. And if you hit that with a little bit of stock, you can make a really great quick sauce that you can finish with butter. Uh, other things, always salt your pasta water. And I know some of you guys, you're not doing it and you're wrong and I'm judging you but you could do better and I believe in you <laughs> and another way that you're probably using salt wrong is how you season things um, many times I see people seasoning things from like here and if you look your salt is right there whereas if you kind of like salt bay it and bring it up high it's much more dispersed, which means you're adding like flavor throughout the entire piece of meat or fish or whatever the heck it is that you're doing. Well, I hope you guys are able to utilize some of these tips at home. And if you don't feel like cooking, please call us and we will make sure you guys get a really delicious dinner. And I'll see you guys next time for some more tips here at Settlers Inn.